there to be different and be an influence right that's what we're talking about yesterday looking at daniel's brothers where they were thrown in the lion's den and because of their relationship with daniel they would not bow to um nebuchadnezzar's um image they they refused to bow to the image they refused to bow to the god that was behind the music or the flute that were being played for them to um bow to so that they will be saved from the furnace the, the the heat that was heated seven times hotter than normal now when we are looking at this particular aspect of influence i want us to know that influence is not automatic you don't get influence or you don't influence other people by osmosis it's not a quick fix it's not something that just happens overnight for you to be able to influence somebody mean what you're doing is something or what you are influencing them is something you have done you have consistently done that particular thing like daniel daniel was a man of integrity you see that he kept his integrity for a long time before he could even um, be considered an influence before his life could actually impact other people um, in a way that we can say he influenced them now daniel was not one of those people that only prayed when he was convenient we know the story later on when his friends at his job site or yes you can simply put it that way governors like he was he was part of the governing body uh the governors the top officials the from nowhere for no reason you know the bible says because they were jealous of him the plotted that um they should find they, they could not see anything they wanted to bring him down and they didn't see anything they could bring him down but by prayers because they only saw that the only way we can get daniel to get in trouble or make the king to to get to a point where he will not favor daniel like he was is to tell the king that he should send a decree and stop daniel from praying that they could only get daniel through his god or his spiritual life now it's very important for you to understand that even in that situation daniel refused to bow after all the promotions he had after all the affluence everything that god had given him he was still a very strong man of god he still had integrity in god for you to be able to stand and influence other people like we saw yesterday you must do it consistently you must be persistent in the right direction daniel was not a christian that was up and down up today tomorrow he's down down tomorrow the next day he's up he was firm he was focused even in 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 situations where somebody would be like i'm already fine i already have a position i'm already in the government i don't care if i just don't pray for a few days i'll be fine you know there's a man of god that says if you don't pray for one week you become weak if you don't pray for a month you will mourn and he said if you don't pray for i think a year something else will happen but those are the words that might sound like are you serious yes it is serious prayer is that serious if you have to influence someone else uh life to the point where they will stand to, to to oppose a government, a governmental system, they will stand to say no to something that is against the law of their God, you have to be able to have power. And there's no place you can have power like in the presence of God or the place of prayer. What are we saying today? We're saying that be persistent. Dare to be different and be persistent. 
is your most of us know where our power is when it comes to our relationship with God. Some people is in their worship. When you worship God, you feel the rush of that presence. You feel that strength. Some people they can stay on their Bible for four or five hours a day, thirty minutes. Some people two minutes. They are so strong. Some people it's prayer. They can pray for hours. Some people can pray for twenty minutes or ten minutes, and they will feel that connection, that strong connectivity to God. What are we saying today? Whatever is your strong place or stronghold, strongholds are not always negative. There's a positive stronghold. Whatever your stronghold is in God, our encouragement is stay on that uh, stronghold. Hold tight to it. Don't waver. Dare to be different in your strength and hold on to it. Dare to be different in your place of influence and stay strong to it so that you can influence yourself first and then you influence other people. Dare to be different, staying strong, and influence others. In Jesus' name, amen.